Hello guys, how are you doing? Today, we're going to identify the differences between traditional metal braces and self-ligating braces, aka daemon braces. I have self-ligating braces and I figure it'd be interesting to talk about this as it's quite confusing either for people on the internet or for people that have seen me in person. I'm gonna talk about design, treatment time, comfort, cleaning, pricing, and all that fun stuff. So please stay tuned. And without further ado, let's just get to the video. The very first thing I'm gonna talk about is the sign, cause that's the main element that makes people think one is the other and vice versa. I think there too, like both type of braces are very similar. They're both made of metal, although there are also self-locating braces in ceramics, but I'm not gonna talk about that. Some people think that traditional braces are more aesthetic because of the colors, and I'm gonna go over that in just a second. Basically, traditional braces are the standard set of small brackets that are connected to each other through an arch wire. Now, in order to hold the bracket and the arch wire together, traditional braces use small O-shaped elastics that need to be changed periodically and come in different colors. And in my opinion, that's what makes them fun because each month you can play with the colors, with the seasons, there are Halloween braces, Christmas themed braces, and that's super cool. On the other hand, self ligating braces use a door mechanism that is built into the bracket to hold the arch wire. So when you smile, all you see is metal, which makes it a great option for adult patients. In terms of treatment time, it kind of depends on each case, but it's highly probable that self ligating braces may speed up some aspects of your treatment as the force they exert remains unchanged. And like O-rings that lose elasticity over time and so frequent visits might be required during treatment to get them replaced. And again, it really depends on your specific case because I have self ligating braces and I still have monthly appointments. Another thing is that before choosing the type of braces I got, my orthodontist told me that if I chose traditional braces, my treatment would last between 16 to 18 months. But if I chose self ligating braces, it would be between 14 to 15 months. So yeah, that's why I'm saying that treatment time is likely to be shorter with self ligating braces. As for comfort, I can't really speak from my experience because I've never had traditional braces, but in my barista class, I had a classmate who told me that it hurt when she first got her braces. My brother also had traditional braces and he struggled to adjust to them because he would get canker sores and that was very annoying. When I first got my braces on, it didn't hurt. I felt discomfort because of the pressure, but that was all. I've been able to eat just fine after every single appointment. But I do remember there were a couple of months when I experienced a real pain when my orthodontist opened each door to release the arch wire. I think that was because my teeth were starting to move during the first months, because the following months it was just fine, but I don't know. I am 11 months in and I only had a canker sore once, so maybe I'm just lucky, who knows? It's possible that traditional braces are more difficult to clean because O-rings can trap food debris in and around the brackets, but as a patient with self locating braces, I can say that easy cleaning only lasts until you get power chains and that's when you experience the real struggle. Now, pricing is relative because it's different in every country, so I'm not gonna talk about numbers. All I can say is that self locating braces are more expensive than traditional braces, but are still more affordable than other type of braces such as Invisalign or ceramics. If you are about to get braces and have not yet made the decision on which one to get, I suggest that you choose one element that is most important to you and then work around that. For example, to me, treatment time was crucial, so that was my main element, and then I asked myself, do I care about design? No. Do I care about comfort? No. Do I care about the price? Yes. So that's why I went for the low end type of braces, even though there's nothing low end about them, because all type of braces are expensive AF, but ah. 
<laughs> okay guys, so that'll be all for today's video. I am glad I went over this topic and I hope you guys find this video not only entertaining but also helpful. So thank you so much for watching. Always remember to spread kindness and see you in the next one. Bye-bye!